Who's number three? Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number three. Number three. Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome to Sword and Crossbow. Listen, if you didn't listen to the music that you listen to nowadays, what would you be listening to? What was Not. your turning point? What was my turning point? Yeah. Um, probably 2012. And anybody watching at home, answer out loud at your TV. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> oh, you bastard. <laughs> oh, you bastard. You see that, right? <laughs> yeah, dude, I love that compilation. That's one of my favorite uh, videos on the internet. Oh, you bastard. We gotta, we gotta put that video in there. Oh, this is my favorite room. This is my favorite room, too. All right, so if you... If you didn't listen to metal or whatever music you listen to now, what would you... What do you think you'd be listening to right now? Like, you wanna know what I think I'd be listening yeah. to right now? Um... <sighs> if I didn't listen to the music that I uh, am listening to right now, I would probably be listening to a lot of... Uh, n a lot of electro-pop stuff. Oh, yeah? I would probably... I would probably only be listening to things that are uh i would probably only be listening to things that are nostalgic synth wave instead of listening to nostalgic synth wave in addition to the other stuff that i listen to mm. yeah that makes sense i feel like <clears throat> it's funny because i was not like that big of a music guy like i liked like bands and stuff like, like yeah you just weren't like i like uh, I, I liked the music that my friends liked. you were an audiophile yeah and now i've kind of gotten to that point where like like I, like even though I can't play an instrument on myself very well, or like write a music piece, mm. like, like I can appreciate music the same way that someone with a musician's mindset can, because at this point I'm surrounded by so many people who have musical talent and write music, that like yeah, that's that like true. they've allowed they've introduced me to a new way of appreciating <clears throat> music, and it's cool because as a result of that, like I, I'm I find myself experimenting more and trying to find like new sounds and things that i haven't heard before in music yeah that's the best part about music is discovery yeah goodness it feels so good learning like about a new band yeah and well man and just that there are so many like uh oh. so many like types of music out there like like you know you would you would think based on like if you've only ever heard radio stuff you would probably think that there were only like five genres of music man yeah that's i honestly like i'm not gonna hate but man when people listen to radio music as their preferred music oh bastard um man it's just so like it's like uh i don't know it's kind of sad when that's all people listen to is like radio music like yeah i tune into k-rock i like the bands that they show me it's like nope i don't know i don't want to say it's kind of sad because i don't want to sound condescending but as a music lover it's just sort of like a hey man you know there's like way more out there right you know, yeah. it's not it's not meant to be condescending, but it definitely sounds that way. Yeah, um, I, I definitely understand where you're coming from with that. I think. Oh, one... my favorite band is Weezer. Oh, uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> that's a direct roast, by the way. I like Weezer. My favorite band is not Weezer. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's your favorite Weezer song? I like the sweater song. OK, all right. Get out of here. You can't talk to me about music anymore. It's <laughs> all you like. That's all you listen to. That's hilarious. Just a bunch of sh a bunch of schlock. That's not what schlock means. Schlock is corniness. You know, this is ultra bad. Oh. oh. <laughs> speaking of which, uh, speaking of uh, stuff, dude, I just saw Chicago for the first time the other day. Speaking of schlock, you just saw Chicago for the first time the other day? I don't think it's a schlocky movie, is it? No, is it? It seems kind of schlocky from really? the scenes that I have seen, but I, I have It's a seen musical. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why it sounded so bad. <laughs> yeah. But you have a valid point, though. It's a musical. It is a musical. Oh. That 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 excuses it from any criticism. No, no, it just excuses it from <laughs> the schlock kidding. criticism. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Do not worry. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> You're right. This puzzle is annoying. <clears throat> it is rather troublesome, isn't it? Okay. I, what's going on in this carving in the background? There's a guy who's, who's bowing. There's a guy behind him like, Oh, jeez, you dropped it, bud. <laughs> yeah. And then there's another the guy. The texts. There's another guy who's looking up to this guy like, Dang, it's kind of hot out today. Yeah. <laughs> guy looking at the sky just thinking like, This is the last time we're inviting 
couldn't think of a Gregory. random name. <laughs> Gregory. <laughs> Gregory always ruins everything. Brother Gregory, is it true that you ruined the family <laughs> pot, pot roast again? Yeah. Gregory, you conniving little... Mm. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> yeah! I love how you, like, got exactly what was coming to you after insulting <laughs> Gregory. That's the last words of the guy that says that. <laughs> yeah. Just watch out, you haters of Gregory. Yeah. He's, they're coming for you. You know, no, I don't. Stop. You don't. You don't know. I don't know. What the um, musicals are actually pretty cool, but sometimes I'm not down. Sometimes I'm not down either. Oh, come on! <laughs> the, like, delay and lag on my jump matching up with that. Dang, you did, just, like, juked all of that. I didn't too. even need to go that way either. I forgot that I pulled that lever. It doesn't even matter That was you did it. It was just me showing off, you know? That was just a level of skill that I've seen before. But, I really uh, like this. Look at that chain swinging in the background. Oh, yeah, swinging. Oh. Oh, you didn't even catch that. That was a that was a <clears throat> fake catch. That was the fakest catch I've ever seen yeah. in my life. Being good at video games doesn't mean being good at the game. It just means being good at dodging everything that's coming at you. All right, all right, come on. Yeah, give it to me. Is that true? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> oh no! Oh, oh, you let that happen to you, bro. Check out the bio. Check out the video. Look here, chief. Okay, sorry. You screwed up big. This episode is going to be called Who? Because that's all we're saying. Oh, that's a scary sound. Yeah, it is. Um. <clears throat> oh, yeah, the thing that you were talking about uh, the, with uh, what kind of music you'd be listening to if you didn't listen to what you listen to now, which is what, what, do, you, what do you describe your musical taste as now? Eclectic. <laughs> I see. Um, I, I like, uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to I don't want to be one of these people, but I do like a little bit of everything. Like there's rap artists that I really like. I like specific kinds of sounds in rap. Like I, I like yeah. a lot of kinds of like boom bap and stuff that that kind of has more of like a nostalgic sound out of rap. Like I really like nineties. Um yeah early two thousand yeah stuff that rap. kind of evokes that that sound. Um or even like late eighties to an extent too. Like yeah. the stuff that really slaps. And they were like we were at the party. Yeah, yeah dude. Just like some of the really weird stuff that came out of the era. Um, it's like Will Smith rap. <laughs> sometimes, yeah. Yeah, even that. It depends on my mood, but yeah. Um, Stay in school. Don't be a fool. I like all kinds of uh, rock music. Um, like, uh, rock I, I would music. say that I would say that I, I really... Rock music. Did I say it like that? You said it like the Joker. My father was I a... I like rock my, music. My father was a rocker fool. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Hey, for you a rocker, my father was. Like, like I would say since I got started listening to, to uh, metal like eight years ago that I Progressive started, metal. Yeah, that I really started getting into um, more classic rock and stuff. Um, yeah, like that's I, true. I yeah. love stuff like Yes and Super Tramp. Like yeah. stuff that has that kind of grandiose yeah, sound. Yeah, because I didn't at first. I didn't like classic rock at first. Yeah, I just then, didn't get it. Yeah, and then I think after I started liking prog metal... Then I started liking classic rock because I was like, oh, this is where prog came from. Deep Purple? Well, actually, that's a lie. I, I liked Deep Purple before I listened to prog metal. But, man, like, when I was a kid, my music tastes were so stupid. Yeah, it was I like I legit had, like, a mix CD of Avril Lavigne and ACDC. <laughs> like, what? Uh, what? <clears throat> What's over we here? Talk about a tonal clash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, yo, I don't like your girlfriend. <laughs> and then Avril Lavigne going like, on a highway to hell. <laughs> I don't know how Avril Lavigne sounds. I forgot what she sounds like. Hey, man, like, what can I say? 13-year-olds are weird. Yeah, that's true. I think the funny thing was that when I was a kid, I thought I was being funny if I asked for Avril Lavigne for Christmas. And so my mom thought... <laughs> really? Yeah, and my mom, my mom asked me what I wanted while we were at, like, a Tower Records or something. And I see I can roll around too, buddy. Uh, and then I said her... <laughs> And then my mom got me the actual Avril Lavigne record. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh. I was legit like, did you see that? Yeah, you just got pulverized right now. Oh. I, I could not move. You heard me frantically. Like, yeah, dude, that was crazy. You were just stuck against the wall. I love how like he straight up looked at the screen like, we're doomed. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> you just need to go back Can and I get up here. Face. No, I can't. Oh shoot. No, you can't. <laughs> stupid idiots. Um, you stupid bell guys. Yeah, I listen to that, and then I listen to like techno, EDM. Yeah, dude, a lot of techno and EDM. Of EDM. I would probably, be, I would probably be listening <clears throat> to a lot of that right now. Uh, I mean, I do listen to to some electronic stuff. Like, I really like you gotta experimental. Go back to Hondo. I like experimental electronic music. Yeah, I mean, which it wasn't bad music. I I still like all kinds of music, but like, it's just. Like as a kid, I don't think I understood how to cultivate a taste in music. It was just yeah. like, it's like, oh, mush, mush pie. All right, let's have it all. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. You don't have oh. like a mood or anything. It's just like, well, this is the stuff I like. So here, it's all together. Yeah, I listen to like a lot of uh, cartoon themes and oh, show yeah, man. themes. I still listen to a lot of movie and uh, like show soundtracks. Like if any yeah. any kind of piece of music that really stands out to me is like having an impressive melody or yeah. uh, like really impressive uh, composition. Yeah, dude, I'll, Inuyasha I'll credit themes, Inuyasha endings have some of the best. I don't remember any of them from my childhood, but like, oh. I, I will take your word for it. Yeah, that that was like uh, Inuyasha was one of those shows that didn't have an intro. Oh, okay. So it was like you only had the credit themes. And so I, that was also really big into Inuyasha as a kid. Oh, I should have gotten that guy. Yeah, it's funny because I, I don't think if it was, if you know if it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't nearly be as uh, into anime as I have like become. Oh, really? Yeah, I say that with with like the utmost like gratitude. <clears throat> Anybody who's watching this, it's not a weeb. It's just like wow, wow he's ruined guys, his life. Yeah, you guys really. Uh, you, you shouldn't be like thanking losers. Chutney. You should be. You should be reprimanding. You should be embarrassed. Him. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, I mean, anime I, I, is a sin. Anime is a sin, and I'm an ace citizen. <laughs> You're what? <laughs> an ace citizen? Yeah. <laughs> anime oh. is a sin. I'm an ace citizen. That's I, pretty uh, good. That's a I, nice play on words you got there. Thank you. Hey, what nice I, play on words. Wow. wow. I'm really flattered. Goodness. Wow. You're an expert mouth word man wow you really know how to shape your mouth around those sentences <laughs> <laughs> you teach me how to do that sometime you should teach me how to speak so fluently <laughs> this is our new channel welcome to plankton to... cell markiplier <laughs> <laughs> and whoever else was supposed to be part of the voice cast wow um, he's bringing back recurring themes yeah <laughs> uh <laughs> just let's do a whole episode like that oh, God. um Oh, what was I saying? Special guest Patrick Warburton. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Um, what was I saying, though? Um, oh, yeah. I listen to, like, show themes and all that stuff, and then uh, I, <laughs> I still listen to video game music, like, a lot, because video game music is freaking amazing. Yeah, there's a lot of really good composers working in games right now. Yeah. I remember uh, one of my friends slash co-workers was, like, talking to me about one of his family members. He was like, oh, yeah. He's, I, I was talking to him about my taste in music. Since I like prog metal, it's sort of, uh, you know, it's not exactly like palatable for some people. Oh, I feel that. Gosh. Um, sorry, I had to get quiet there for a sec because I thought yeah. I was going to die. Uh, and he was like, well, you know, you could be like my weird uh, relative who does nothing but listen to video game music. Can you imagine? I'm just like falling asleep to like the link to the past soundtrack <laughs> or uh, Mega or Man X aquatic ambience from yeah, Donkey yeah. Kong Country. I was just like, yeah, that's weird. That's so weird. <laughs> like just like oops. Being a nerd is in now though. It's yeah. Fine. It it is the culture. Yeah. I think it's funny how like when we were kids it's like I was getting my ass kicked for being a nerd and now people are, you know, cool for being nerds. It's like, yeah. all right, no, no. You don't get it. You don't get to be a nerd. You gotta, you gotta go through the trials and tribulations of the nerd. Well, you know, I think if the culture changes and and that's how it is, then bring think... back bullying. Bring, bring <laughs> this is a call to action. I got bullied, so I demand that every everyone kid gets else gets bullied. bullied. Yeah. Everyone deserves to be bullied. <laughs> you just have this resentment for anybody who's not been bullied. Yeah, man. Look, I. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It comes down to a point where you just gotta, you gotta forgive. You gotta forgive and forget. You, you gotta forgive. Please, please, wife, forgive and forget. 
No, I will never forgive you for calling my mother a cow. <laughs> I need you guys to forgive, forget, like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Do all that good stuff. And uh, tune in tomorrow because if you don't, I'm going to be really sad. If you don't, then we'll have no choice but to destroy the Hoover Dam. <laughs> <laughs> No, but really, if you don't do it, we'll have no choice but destroy, but to destroy the Hoover Dam. Why the Hoover Dam? I don't know, because it's, got a, it's holding back a lot of water. <laughs> it's just <laughs> the biggest one I can think of. It's the, one of the closest proximity. Well, there we go. Let's grab this item. Quickly go back. Nope. All right. Well, you know, we'll we catch probably... our train on the next episode. Bye. Bye.